if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, what's better for someone with cancer and doing chemotherapy fasting or eating well? If you want a scientific answer, you probably won't get one. Western medicine has had an irrational phobia of fasting for a couple centuries. For this reason, most research on the subject is less than a decade old. The science is still being done. We're a long way from having any evidence-based clinical guidelines or protocols. There are a variety of changes that happen at the cellular level when you fast. From starvation, detoxification, and multi-drug resistance and cancer therapy, dietary restriction triggers highly conserved survival mechanisms that enhance protection against various types of stress and or disease. Fasting improves the function of normal, healthy cells and degrades the ability of cancer cells to resist chemotherapy drugs. Dietary restriction triggers highly conserved survival mechanisms that enhance protection against various types of stress and or disease. I like to think of it this way. Fasting is a form of hormetic stress and is therefore good for you. Cetris Paribus. This paper specifically mentions the problem of food restriction causing undesirable weight loss in cancer therapy. Fasting cycles retard growth of tumors and sensitize a range of cancer cell types to chemotherapy. The approach the researchers take, restriction for 12 days at a time, allows the cells to beneficially adapt to nutrient scarcity. The patient can maintain weight by eating more during periods of unrestricted eating. Your choice of food during chemotherapy is pretty important. Clearly, a poor diet will not enhance your already compromised health. Some cancer patients are at risk of getting or worsening existing metabolic syndrome. The majority of cancers are currently believed to be glucose-dependent, Warburg effect, and drugs such as metformin seem to have benefits for some types of cancers. Some research is being done on the use of ketogenic diets during cancer therapy. E. G. Ketogenic diet enhances immunity to glioblastoma. As I said at the beginning, the research is ongoing. If a diet, or fasting, is not contraindicated for your particular diagnosis and seems like it might be beneficial, try it. If it doesn't work, stop. It's just a diet, after all, try it, stop. 